Hello, welcome to a new video demonstrating my new filter, uh, which is an NBT editor filter. Um, this filter will only work in Windows operating systems. Um, it's an unfortunate consequence of how the filter works. Um, there are some people who are interested in porting it to Linux or Macs, but um, I can't say if that will ever happen or not. Um, anyways, for Windows users, I will show how to install it since it's the installation is a little bit different than most other filters um, in this uh, explorer window here you'll see uh, an MC edit installation installation uh, what you want to do is you want to go into the binary folder which is this one right here um, you notice this is 64 bit for a 32 bit it will look a little different uh, it'll be Win32 instead of uh, Win AMD64. Uh, this filter should work in either version, just as long as it's a Windows version. So the filter itself comes in a zip file. You'll want to use an archive uh, utility um, such as 7-zip or WinRAR, or you could even use Windows built-in zip handler that's built into the Explorer. Um, for instance, this is what it looks like. Uh, within this nbt.zip uh, file, there are two file uh, files. One is the filter itself, and then the other is a folder that contains icons. Both of these will need to be extracted. So we'll go up to the binary folder, and then we will go, um, go into the filters folder. Then all you need to do is just drag and drop. Make sure it's copy to filters. If you if you have Python installed, it might try um, like you don't want to copy it to demo. You want to make sure it gets copied to filters. And then if you sort by name, you should see that there's an MBT icons folder and then an MBT.py file. Um, the MBT icons these are icons that were uh, stolen mercilessly from uh, the wiki um, and these are used within the uh, editor so now I'll show the editor itself not sure if that's 100% in frame but anyways um, I'll just demonstrate the filter real quick uh, this filter will work on tile entities which are um, always highlighted in yellow in MC edit entities which are always in red um, they're also in green for uh, tile, or, I mean for item entities, the items that are dropped on the ground. And it will also work for tile ticks, which are white. Like this over here is a tile tick. I think. Uh, we, it's pretty easy to check, so I'll show how the filter works right now. All you do is you go into your filters folder and you choose NBT editor. You select which ones you want to browse. It, um, it will automatically determine what's within the selection. So if, for instance, you checked tile ticks and there weren't any tile ticks within your selection, it won't show any tile ticks. So it's, you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is then click filter and then a window appears and this is the NBT editor itself and you can see that there are tile ticks so we can expand this and you can see all the different tags you can edit them if you click the edit button and you can actually change the tag type you can change the tag name the tag value etc um, it won't let you change the tag name to another uh, name Basically, within a compound, uh, the compounds look like these um, little red, blue, and green um, icons. Within a compound, um, each tag must have a unique name. So the filter won't let you create more than one uh, tag within a compound that has the same name. Um, you could also create new. Um, this is this is a pretty smart feature. It will know where you want to insert it. Say, if you wanted to add another tile tick click new it'll create an empty uh, tag compound for you whereas if you wanted to create a new um, 
tag down here, you just click New, and you specify the, the tag type you want. We'll just use an int. And we'll also, it will also uh, force proper uh, values as well. Uh, for instance, it will say it can't convert such and such to the tag int. So if we use a tag int value, which is an integer, say 2, then you can see that the new tag is right there. And you can edit it if you want to. Um, you can delete it. Also, if you double click on a tag, it will um, load up, it will show the, uh, it will bring up the edit um, option. And if you click new, like I, uh, as I was explaining before, it will, it will recognize where you want to uh, put it. So I could have clicked up here with new or down here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go look at some tile, ent uh, tile entities. So over here, we, you can see we, there, we have various uh, tile entities. Um, I'll go ahead and select a few uh, tile entities as well as a few uh, regular entities. So we got two mob spawners, three spiders. So go ahead and go into the MBT editor. And you can see two tile entities, three entities. Um, the wiki will be your Bible, um, especially the chunk format page on what all the tags are and what they do. Um, basically, you can edit these however you want. You can create new tags. Whoops or um, or modify them however you want. Now in certain instances it won't let you edit a tag. Typically it won't let you edit a tag if it's in the location where where you can't change the value such as a, a tag compound on a list because it can't have a name because it's inside of a list and compounds don't have a value. So if we try to edit this it says this tag uh, cannot be edited in this location. Um, also, what I was another feature are the co copy, cut, and paste um, commands. So, if we wanted to copy one of these entities, uh, one of these spider entities, we could actually copy it into a um, into a spawner. So, for instance, if we take out the spawn data. Um, yeah, if we take out the spawn data, I'll go ahead and delete that. Then we will grab a spider, and I'll do a copy. And then I'll go up here, and I'll do a paste. I need to give it a name. That was spawn data. I'll click done. And now we have a new tag named spawn data. And this will work. We just need to make sure we set the entity ID right here to spider. Um, you can see the entity ID right there is spider, so we just need to change it. And using this filter, you can actually get acquainted with how um, how spawners work. Like the spawn data tag is only used for temporarily holding the properties tag from the spawn potentials. So eventually this spawn data tag will be overwritten with this properties tag. But until it does, it will spawn spiders. Now all you need to do is click done for it to uh, write your changes. If you don't want to write any changes, you just hit click cancel and nothing will be saved. Um, you can also clone um, entities if you want to. Like if we just do a copy, you can see we got. I just created a whole bunch of spiders real quick, and then you can go in and ed edit them however you want to. This filter is really more designed for advanced users, uh, advanced map editors who know how to edit MBT data. Um, if you do, if you do a bad job editing NBT uh, data, you can actually make uh, Minecraft crash. So 
I only recommend um, experts use this filter. Uh, one other thing to note, uh, if the X, Y, and Z tags are missing, it won't um, save the entity at all because it uses the X, Y, and Z values to determine which chunk the tile entity needs to go into and if they're not valid then it won't be able to place them anywhere. And it will just delete them. And for entities it's the POS tag, position tag. If this position tag is missing or isn't three, at least three values long, um, it won't save the entity to, uh, to your world data. But that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and just load up. Um, and you can see that the entity that I copied is right here because it's darker. If you do an analyze, there's six spiders within that one spot. So I'm going to go ahead and load up MC Edit so we can see um, how this spawner was modified. You can see all the spiders over here, and here's that. Whoops. Well, this is set to a really high, um, a really high spawn rate, so that sp that spider didn't get a chance to spawn. Trust me, it works. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know um, in the comments. If you find any bugs, I did a lot of bug testing, but I can't claim to have gotten everything. Um, just let me know in the comments or you can message me uh, if you have any other questions or anything comments um, anyways uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope you like the filter and use the filter have a good night